natural share that is supposed to look this way. Okay, y'all. So we're trying to go to this museum. And I was trying <laughs> to surprise y'all, but the road is very bad. It rained plenty last night. Yeah, that's why I never went. Off. Mommy has decided she wants to see if the road is impassable or not. Hey, hey, everybody. The Ghana family adventures continue with our last day in the north before we took the plane back to Accra. On our way to the airport, we made a quick stop to visit the shea butter factory in Tamale that's operated by all women. Mashoud quickly showed us the process the ladies go through to produce the all-natural top-notch shea butter, which they sell afterwards. Now, I wasn't really paying that much attention and it was raining and we had a flight to catch but we saw the ladies going through the production process. Now, if you're interested in the nitty gritty details of how shea butter is made, be sure to check out my friend Fred Dahe's video that covers the whole thing at the same factory. This is the good stuff. Yes. So the ones you see looking yellowish yeah. and those kind of stuffs, like I told, they've added a, what do you call it? Okay. Uh, tamarind powder or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that, and that's what they've added to it. Uh -huh, but natural shea butter is supposed to look this way. If anyone is interested in purchasing some shea butter from the ladies, please feel free to reach out to Mashud who can make it happen. His contact information is in the description box below. Individual or wholesale requests are definitely taken. After the quick tour of the factory, we made one last stop at a shop on the way to the airport so my family could buy souvenirs. Y'all, if it's one thing my family can do see is shop. They loved Ghana for shopping and the quality stuff that were available. The plane ride back to Accra was seamless and some of us took the rest of the day to rest. But the next day we started another adventure and that was a trip to Ada. Ada is about 2.5 hours give or take Accra traffic outside of Accra and is a great day trip for anyone looking for a change of scenery. Now our first stop on the agenda was the Intinchim Museum. It's a unique outdoor sculpture museum that I highly, highly recommend everyone visit on their trips to Ghana. Now the museum, much like many great things in Ghana, was a little difficult for us to find and get to. But that's what makes an adventure, right? Let me come with you, see mommy? Okay y'all, so we're trying to go to this museum. I was trying to surprise y'all, but the road is very bad. It rained plenty last night. Yes, we were supposed to go out to. Mommy has decided she wants to see if the road is impassable or not. So that is what we're going to do. It's so mushy. Is that a CC? To take you to where you are not planning to go. Yes. Uh -huh. I like the problem. Yeah. We're not getting stuck. We're coming through. We're coming through. I will yes, wait. driver Mustafa. Yes. For you. I will wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I will wait for you. Your ancestors didn't go before us. They made a way. Thank you, Jesus. What a joy. Look, we get to back so far. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo, we made it. So I can't remember how to, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this museum. But let me go, let me go find the sign for you. This is the road, and this is the museum. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Looks really nice. After finally making it to the museum, thanks to our amazing driver Mustafa, we spoke with the owner and tour guide and unfortunately I wasn't allowed to record majority of the experience. But that just means y'all have to reach and see for yourselves. What I did get to record though was the highlight of our tour. It was a sacred burial ground they created with sculpted heads to represent the millions of people who died during the Atlantic slave trade and slavery in the Caribbean and beyond. They wanted to give them a true burial ground as many of them would not have received such. This moment hit me hard and I commend the museum for creating and dedicating a space like this for our ancestors. Now, as soon as we departed this area, my body gave up. I hadn't been feeling 100% over the last couple of days, and that coupled with gallivanting around the place and eating something not so great the day before had me feeling bad. But we didn't let this stop the fun. I pushed through as we got the opportunity to meet the owner of the museum, and we had more places to go. Luckily, after a quick bathroom break, I was good enough to at least make it to our next destination. We are at our second destination and it is called Aqua Safari. Now, I am not feeling well at all. Me and the mall, we went to me yesterday, but we are still suffering. But yes, Aqua Safari is located in Nada and it's right on the river and it's a big fancy hotel from what it looks like. And you could go there in there on the day and um, like eat, drink, get boat rides, jet ski, that kind of stuff. I'm going to be lying down. Y'all done see my adventure on the Volta River already, but the other people are going to be exploring. So they made us walk along. Not impressed. Anyways, along we go. The hotel property was actually quite big and we did not know where we were going, but eventually we strolled along to find a restaurant and pool area, which is where we would spend the rest of the day. Now, it didn't seem like there were many people there at all, so we had our pick of where to sit and what to do, and then we just enjoyed the rest of the day.
left Aqua and went to Ada. Yes. So I'm in Ada. I'm still in Ghana though. Mm. <laughs> Enjoying myself. Hey, mommy. Hey. Hey. Short, but we have a drive now back to Accra <clears throat> and there will be traffic again just haven't been feeling my, myself in a while but push on bye we call it a day at around 5 p.m. to head back to Accra before the traffic hit us bad I wish I could have gotten more footage for y'all but my body was just not allowing it Stay tuned though because in the next video I'm feeling better and more family of mine joins in on the Ghana adventures.